Hey folks, this is Zach you back with Wave and MBSI Wave, coming to you with another edition of Wireless Mythbusters. I'm in Rolling Meadows, Illinois today, home of the Cambium Networks, and I'm super excited to interview a couple of their folks on Cambium QoE solutions, Bridge in a Box, and we're gonna talk about their latest innovation, fiber products. I'm super excited, folks. Let's go inside. Hey folks, this is Zach Hubeck. I'm here in the Cambium Networks Tech Innovation Center. I've got Bruce Collins with me from Cambium Networks. Bruce, how are you today? Very good. Awesome. First and foremost, why don't we start uh, and tell the folks at home what you do for Cambium. So I'm a director of product line management at Cambium. I looked after a series of products, including our millimeter wave products, our licensed microwave, some of our access products, mostly in the fixed wireless space. But I work a lot closely with customers on understanding uh, what the requirements are, where do they see trends going in the industry, and then I work closely with the engineering team to bring those products to market. Awesome. So Bruce, uh, we're talking about Bridge in a Box today, man. We're super excited about this product offering. So uh, at its core, what is Bridge in a Box all about? Yeah, so Bridge in a Box is all about bringing gigabits per second or multiple gigabits per second from point A to point B in a very simple approach. So the idea is that I need to connect two buildings together, or point A, to, like I said, point A to point B. I need to connect it with one gig or two gig. Uh, I can take these units right out of the box, power them up and point them at each other, and I get immediately, I get that, uh, that layer two bridge that I can then drop into any kind of network. So awesome. uh, the idea here is to make it really simple to deploy lots of uh, capacity. Very cool, and these are based on 60 gigahertz, is that correct? That's right, so this is uh, 60 gigahertz, what we call millimeter wave technology. Yep. Uh, so this is, uh, what, what that means is that it gives you very high capacity um, it is line of sight, so you do have to uh, have visibility from one end to the other, but at the end of the day, it'll give you that multiple gigabits per second, lots of capacity. And the other nice thing is that it doesn't interfere with five gigahertz. So if you have a, a high noise floor based on other types of fixed wireless, yep. or you might have, um, uh, you want to run Wi-Fi in that area, outdoor Wi-Fi, sure. this won't interfere with that Wi-Fi and it won't be interfered with by that Wi-Fi. Very cool, so it's a bridge in a box. You're bringing uh, that super high capacity signal to a location. These can also power um, other appliances as well. Is that correct? Yeah, so one of the real nice capabilities you have, with the, especially with the V2000, yep. uh, that's a two gigabit per second link. Um, and what you can do with that is you can power an external camera. So you can do okay. a CCTV or video surveillance camera. Yep. You could power an outdoor Wi-Fi access point. Yep. So those are very common applications. If I'm not just connecting two buildings to each other, but I want to put uh, Wi-Fi in an area that I don't have uh, connectivity, I can backhaul a Wi-Fi connection and make that work. Beautiful. Um, and this is all 2.5 gigabit uh, uh, Fi, so that's one of the things that's kind of unique about the solution is that yep. um, you can provide that 2.5 gigabit interface to the uh, access point or to the camera. Very cool. So let's talk about some of the literal applications for this. What are you seeing in the market today and what are people super excited about from an application perspective? Yeah, it's been quite amazing that the number of different applications that people come up with, as soon as you put a product like this in the market, people, the ideas come out of come out of the woodwork. So it's, yeah. uh, uh, we have people putting this in, thinking about in hospitality environments. Okay. Uh, if you're a, a hotel or a resort, you might want to put uh, Wi-Fi out by the, the pool or the tennis courts. Okay. Um, in uh, resort or uh, retirement communities, same thing. Uh, they want to put uh, connectivity, whether it's a security camera or a, uh, a Wi-Fi access in a, in a certain area. Got it. Uh, we're seeing industrial applications. Um, imagine an industrial application where you need to bring in a, um, a, a remote work environment. So you have people coming on and they're working in one of these mobile offices. You see these, like they look like a, a trailer parked at the edge of a lot. Sure. Well, they need, they need the capacity just like they would be if they were sitting at a desk inside the building. Now you can very easily deploy two gigabits per second out to that remote office. Nice. And that can show up in whether it's an oil and gas application where they have these uh, uh, temporary workers working in uh, oil and gas fields. It could be a retail environment where you have excess employees or excess inventory at the holiday season. Sure. Uh, I want to provide security and, and internet access in those areas. So anywhere you want to connect two buildings together or anywhere I wanted to put Wi-Fi or cameras that yep. I can't get there today with a piece of fiber or a piece of wire, um, this is a great solution. Set up in hours, days, not months, weeks, no permitting, none of that, and right? I, yeah, another the nice thing about 60 gigahertz is that there's no license fee required. Nice. So you can put these up um, literally in minutes. So you take them out, like I said, they're prepared at the factory. So there's really no configuration required. 
Uh, you mount it on the side of the building, you mount one on a, on a pole or a, a mast, or it could be on the, on, on the side of a, a lamp post. Sure. Uh, and uh, point them at each other and they're ready to go. So there's very little configuration required. Awesome, very cool. Now, Cambium Network's not the only 60 gigahertz game in town, Bruce. Why don't you tell the folks at home why to choose Cambium over another solution? Yeah, so Bridge in a Box is just one aspect of our 60 gigahertz CN Wave uh, portfolio. Yep. Um, it's really the starting point. You can do a, like I said, very simple point-to-point -point link prepared at the factory. But what you can do then is you can grow that network to uh, what we call distributed networks. So yep. you can do point-to-point, then you can start to do point to multi point or what we call hub and spoke. Yep. Um, and then to go all the way to where this product really shines is in a distributed mesh network. And so I can start to build out larger and larger geographic areas with more and more cameras or more and more access points or larger campuses. Um, and really that the unique capabilities to add additional uh, fiber points of presence into the network and being able to scale up to very large 60 gig networks is really unique in the industry with, with Cambium. Very cool. Now, um, all of these wares you're talking about is all managed, your management platform is called CN Maestro. Mm -hmm. Talk to the folks at home a little bit about CN Maestro and what that's all about. Right, so CM Maestro is our uh, on-premises or cloud-based management platform. Provides okay. a single pane of glass to be able to see what's happening with all of these products. So whether you're overlaying 60 gig with uh, outdoor Wi-Fi access points, or you're gonna overlay it or complement it with our five gigahertz uh, or soon to be six gigahertz uh, point to multi-point solutions, yep. you can see all of that in one pane of glass or one single view. And I can get everything from what's happening with alarms, alerts, I can configure the radios, I can do uh, uh, software updates, Okay. Um, all the things that you can see. And, and the nice thing is you can kind of mix and match all of the Cambium products and you've got one interface to, 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 to see what's happening. Awesome, very cool. So if folks want to jump into the deep end of the pool and get involved with Bridge in the Box, they love what we've talked about today, how do they get more information and get started? Right, so the product's available today. Um, yeah, I would reach out to our good friends over at Wave. I know and, those uh, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they can get you set up with some, uh, some units to, to start working with. Um, if you want some more technical detail or content, you can certainly come to cambiumnetworks.com. Yep. Uh, but the product is available, it's working, we have lots of applications and you'll see how, if you go to our website, you'll also see how other people are using it and get some more ideas and examples there as well. Awesome, very cool. Folks, hope you've enjoyed this minute with Cambium Networks and their Tech Innovation Center. Bruce Collins, your gentleman, always great to talk to you and we're super excited about Bridge in the Box. All right, thanks, Thank Dad. you, sir.